Hey, Pastor Richard here, guys. Today, I'd like to give my personal testimony. Some might enjoy it. Some might stop following our church. I'm the youngest of six. I'm 37 years old. I was raised by good parents in a good home, but I was a rebellious child. I was the one out of all six of my <clears throat> mom's children that gave her more trouble than any mother probably deserves. <laughs> I was always sneaking out. I was stealing, looking for the quick buck. I was in and out of trouble with the law throughout my whole teen years. I never was much of a drinker or like drugs. Now I'm not saying I didn't try any of those when I was younger, but I never really fell into that whole drug or alcohol scene because it just wasn't my thing. I was just a troublemaker. That's all it boiled down to. I joined the military for two years and I got some tattoos. Uh, while I was in there, when I got out of the military and got in uh, to some more trouble, uh, I got more tattoos. So, as you can see, I have a lot of tattoos. In my early 20s, and I always knew who God was, but like I said, I, I was rebellious and I didn't want to listen to him. Well, I finally started listening and doing what God wanted me to do. I got a career in HVAC thanks to my wife whom God brought into my life. I just kept feeling that my life was missing something. Then one day I heard God tell me to become a minister. I kind of laughed a little bit, honestly. I was like, me? A minister? Yeah, I think you might have the wrong guy there, God. I mean, who would have ever thought, who would have ever listened to me? I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm a troublemaker. I got tattoos everywhere. No one's gonna listen to me. Who's gonna listen to the man with tattoos? Who? And then I heard God say, are you more afraid of embarrassment and failure more than you love and obey me so guess what here I am I am a minister <laughs> I started a church online called gospel of Jesus I've taken theology classes I've taken ministry classes and Christian counselor classes and I even have a doctorate's degree now I still have a full-time job as an HVAC tech because I believe everyone should hear the gospel and that's our main job so it should be done freely at no cost I choose to do online ministry because God has led me to the internet so that the gospel of Jesus isn't just heard in a church in here in shallow water, Texas, but throughout the world like it was meant to be heard. I was also worried about having tattoos. I'm not going to lie to you folks and people judging me. Yes, I do believe tattoos are a sin. No, I wasn't, nor am I now perfect. No, I would never get another tattoo since I know now that it is against my God. We all have our sins. Just unfortunately, I have to wear mine on my body. Thank God for that. You know, thank God that none of us have to wear our sin all the time across our faces. I'm hoping to start sermons pretty soon coming up. I'll keep you updated on that. I preach the truth and I preach the straight from the word of God like it was meant to be. I put up videos on worldly issues and just issues I stand and I firmly believe in. We answer all messages on Facebook. So if you want to drop a few lines or a prayer request, please do so. When we start our online uh, sermons and you have questions about what's being said, please do not hesitate to ask questions. I don't want anyone walking away empty handed. I want everyone to be full of the word of God. Well, I got to go folks, but now you know who Pastor Richard is. You know my life story pretty much in a nutshell. Uh, you know my testimony. I hope you all have a blessed day. Hope to see some of you when we start going into our live sermons. Keep spreading the gospel of Jesus, and as always, God bless.